Another Nerdy Virgin podcast. We're going to go video here. I think that's what's happening. I think that's what we're doing. I think that's how we're doing this. Um, I learned uh, a lesson now. I think I can only do 10 minutes of video on this before it cuts me off. And you know what? 10 minutes is enough when it comes to uh, what I'm doing here because, because I don't have a guest. People have been telling me, get a guest. I can tell by my view counts. I need a guest. I just, I'm very stubborn about not having a guest. I guess I just feel like I want to do this by myself. I want to do this by myself. I don't want help. So that's what we're going to do. And I would rather do this myself. All right, so what are we doing? What, do, you want to, do you want to talk some movie news? Do, uh, did, we, uh, did we go see Mission Impossible? Everyone's going to see Mission Impossible. It, be, it, it was a record-breaking weekend for Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. Part one! I think that's how you pronounce it. Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, part one. I think the reason why it's doing well and the superhero movies, a lot of the superhero movies are not, is I, I'm wondering, are people tired of the superhero movies? Are they tired of it? I kind of understand it. I think uh, uh, here's every superhero movie is that the superhero's got a thing, uses the thing to save the day. In the middle of the movie, he, suddenly the thing stops working and he's got to re- rediscover why the thing worked and then the thing works and then he saves the day. That's, it seems like that's every superhero movie. Captain America is going to save the day with a shield. That's what we want. We don't want him saving the day with a javelin. What do you mean he saved the day with a javelin? That's not what we want. We want him to save the day with a shield. Excuse me, are you Captain America? Yes. Where's your shield? I didn't feel like it today. I'm using the javelin. You march back home, get that shield and come back. Don't show up here with a javelin. You're not Captain Javelin. You're Captain America. That's my theory on that. Other movie news? Uh, Star Wars The Acolyte has a ton of Jedi. Let's check out this news item from DarkHorizons.com. So the interviewing the person making it... Uh, uh, I guess it's centering on the bad guys. This show is going to be about the bad guy, the, not the, the, the Sith. The Sith are going to be the lead. Um, and uh, star, uh, the, she, she confirms that the show is not being shy with the Jedi either. In fact, it will involve more Jedi than you've seen in other Star Wars content. More Jedi than you've seen in other Star Wars content. Lots of Jedi. 50 Jedi. 100 Jedi. There's going to be 150 Jedi in this show, uh, all different, all all different robes. Okay, we're going to see robes that some of them are are tied, some of the robes not tied. A, a ton of Jedi. There's a cafeteria full of Jedi in Star Wars Acolyte. That's what we're that's what we're going to see. Biggest problem, the biggest problem I've had with these shows so far: not enough Jedi. There is an arena of Jedi in Attack of the Clones. Not enough. I want legions of Jedi. If there's not a Jedi named Tim, I'm out. I feel I'm, I feel good about I feel good about. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad they're covering the Jedi. I really am. Um, all right. Let's see what what other, what other not what other things. Uh. Everything's scrapped at Comic-Con, I guess, because of the strike. And my first thought when I'm hearing about this, I guess they're, they're, they're scrapping the panels. They're not doing the big exhibitions. And my thought is, oh, good. Now I want to go. <laughs> Will it be not busy? I want to go when it's not busy. That, that, frankly, it sounds like a dream to me. Um, I might go now. I might go now if, the, if there's nothing at Comic-Con. Uh, Miyazaki's final film gets an. I'm lo I'm excited for Miyazaki's final film. He keeps saying it's the final film, and then he makes another one. We'll see. The jury is still out on whether or not this is the final film. I'm a huge Miyazaki fan. You familiar with Miyazaki? Probably, right? Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, Castle in the Sky, right? We fan fan of that. Why is it taking? Dark Horizons took too long to respond. Oh, that's. How is that happening? That's not good. Um, I hope there's not an internet problem. Now I'm freaking out. Now, oh, it might be a problem with Dark Horizons. Did it know I was podcasting? Can it hear? Who, who, 
Who fibbed? Why is that a pro? Why why is me talking about do- mentioning that a problem? I feel like they'd be they'd be good to be they'd be good to go about mentioning that. I feel like that would be okay. We're five minutes into this podcast. All right, that's enough movie news. Um, I, I'm struggling with my diet because I want to eat beef. I, I want beef. I want beef. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Remember the ad? It's what's for dinner, guys. Remember the ad? Remember the beef ad? It's what's for dinner. I need to be I need to be good. I can't. I need to be healthy. That's what I need to do. But I am craving meat, so I'm going to maybe I'll find a place that's serving it. Trouble is everything closes down in Burbank pretty early, and it's almost 10 p.m., and so there might not be anything. Barney's. I might go to Barney's. Barney's has chicken. Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll stick with the chicken. That's maybe that's what I'll do. I am having a craving for beef. Although now that I think about it, it's I, I have a craving specifically for this beef dish that they have at Yard House that had teriyaki on it. So maybe what I'm really craving is sugar. Ah ha! Maybe that's really what I'm craving. But the the, the diet, trying to lower the cholesterol. Um, Trying to cut out sugar, trying to cut out red meat. Uh, all that's left is salmon. I've been really trying to just focus on the salmon, and there there comes a point where my body is like, I, I don't want salmon anymore. I want beef, and I have to say to my body, but do, do, do you want to live longer? And my body is like, no. L- read the news. Go to CNN.com. What are we gunning for? I'll be 80 in 2060. What is 2060 going to be? Is it going to be idiocracy? I feel like we're leaning heavily towards some kind of combination between idiocracy and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, the, the road warrior, Mad Max. That's where we're going. I, I can't survive in a Mad Max world. No one in the Mad Max world needs help with their spreadsheets, people. Nobody. I think part of the reason why I'm doing this podcast like this is because even recording it and uploading it is too much. This is I'm actually directly uploading it into Libsyn. That is why I'm doing this. This is good. It's seven minutes and 30 seconds. This is enough. It's fine. We're good. Have a good week.